Hello YouTubers and fellow hams. Well, this is just a quick little uh, vid on something that's coming up pretty quick. Rad FXSAT Fox-1B is going to be launched November 14th. Now this is a CubeSat that's going to have an amateur radio transponder on it. And uh, there's, you know, plenty of satellites out there that, uh, um, that we can play around with. But this one is kind of interesting to me because of telemetry. But we'll get to that in just a second. So this is just a little news clip on AMSAT about the launch rescheduling. It was originally scheduled for November 10th, but now it's going to be the 14th. And there's launch data here. Um, I will put this link um, in the description below so you can just go visit this page. And if you uh, click on this further uh, information link here, you'll get to this main page, which was about the satellite launch. This, uh, this talks about November 10th because that was the original launch date, but it's been moved back to the 14th. Now, this is a CubeSat, meaning it's a small cube made with off-the-shelf parts, and that's part of the experiment to see uh, um, how off-the-shelf parts survive in space. <clears throat> But what's interesting about this satellite is the telemetry data from the satellite is going to be on the main audio downlink uh, below 200 hertz as a sub-audible modulated tone. And they want people to help with monitoring the telemetry. Um, so that's where I'm getting interested in this thing. Uh, there's, there's a software that they've written, Fox Tele, Fox Telem software, it's what they call it here. Um, that is available for all the major platforms. It's the telemetry decoder that will upload the telemetry to their servers. And it's available for Windows, for Mac, and for Linux. Um, they wrote it in Java. And on this page, there's a user's guide here. But you do need to have Java installed on your computer in order to run it. Now, for Linux, that's pretty easy. We just go into uh, Synaptic Package Manager and we search for Java and we should find a Java runtime. Went past it. H I J Java Common. This is the package you need to install that gets you the runtimes to allow you to run Java. So search for java-common, check this box, mark for installation, and you will have what you need to run it. Alternatively, in a terminal, um, you could just type sudo apt-get install java-common, and that would install the package. Now once you have Java installed, you can go in here and you can download the program and I've downloaded the Linux version which comes in an archive file here and if we go to my downloads folder we find the archive and I'll just right click on that and select extract here and it's extracted into a folder and here we are now you see this start foxtelem.sh that's a shell shell script that will start the program so I can just double click on that and select run it wants me to pick a uh, directory for logs to go into. I'm just going to pick this for now. It gives you some uh, information. And uh, sure, we'll just click through and install the data files that it wants. And there we go. Here's the program. Uh, so this will read the audio coming from your interface and your radio and decode the telemetry and allow you to upload that telemetry to their servers. So you can help with the testing and monitoring of the satellite, which is really cool. RadFX, that's the one we're talking about. Obviously there's no data to be captured now because the satellite's not up yet. But uh, this will be pretty interesting. You'll be able to, when it's passing overhead, not only decode the telemetry, but see it 
you know, see all these stats and information that it's sending down, which will be just fascinating to watch. But also, you'll be able to help out the team by uploading uh, your decoded telemetry to them so that they can, uh, they can get better monitoring of their satellite through your help. So that's coming up, and I thought this would be pretty interesting to show you guys. Um, I do plan on running this and trying to capture the satellite on a few passes, and I'll probably do a video on that uh, in the coming weeks as I, uh, um, as I successfully monitor the satellite. So, November 14th, it'll be launching. Now, they did specify in the bulletin that I read that for the first few hours, they will be testing the health of the satellite, and they may turn the transponder on a couple of times, but they don't want people to try to transmit through it until they say it's okay. Here's information on the uh, repeater that's on the satellite. It's going to have an uplink of uh, 435.250, with a 67 hertz PL tone required, and a downlink, this is the receive frequency here, of uh, 145.960. So any two meter receiver can pick it up. Now you, you'll want an outside antenna. Um, if you're really seriously into it, you'd have a helical uh, non-polarized antenna, but really you'll be able to pick it up with just about anything. I've got a two meter inverted V in my attic and I regularly can pick up satellites pretty well with that. So it, you know, just a dipole, two meter inver um, dipole or inverted V would work. A vertical antenna would work, although you might null the signal a little bit if it's passing overhead when it's directly overhead, but you'll pick it up as it's approaching and moving away. And there probably will be a little bit of Doppler shift um, but it's FM, so a little bit of shift is not going to affect your reception of it very much at all. Um, just a little, perhaps. So in most cases, just a regular 2 meter rig uh, with an external antenna tuned to this frequency, you'll be able to pick up the satellite if it passes overhead. Uh, once it's launched, uh, TLEs will be available, two-line element files will be available for tracking. I imagine they will probably have a web resource for tracking it after it's up. So you'll definitely want to come here to the AMSAT.org website um, on the 14th to monitor the launch. Also, NASA TV will be broadcasting the launch and mission details um, during the launch and, and soon after. So NASA TV would be a good thing to watch um, when launch time comes on the 14th. So, uh, yeah, um, if you're interested in satellites, this is going to be a new one to play with that's coming up pretty quick. And uh, you can help the team out by installing uh, Fox Telem. And uh, if you can monitor the satellite, uploading the telemetry that you decode to AMSAT and help them out with that. So there you go. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're not already a subscriber, click to subscribe. Join us on the Facebook channel for discussion about the videos. And if you'd like to help support this channel, please click to support me on my Patreon page.